Oh man, Eek. Here we go. Oh man. What if I just what left is this it as game? my whole like what if I didn't crop this video <laughs> and I just left the whole desktop in here? The authentic experience. <laughs> yeah. What the fuck is this? We were just talking about how everything Steven Spielberg touched in the 90s had something to do with Borneo. Yeah. That's where they found the... I think that's where they found the dinosaur DNA in this mosquito in of Jurassic Park. I miss you, darling. I think this is Steve Bloom also, which is cool. This is the loneliest place on Earth. Most exciting thing ever happens here is a day oh, when it don't that? rain. He's, he's like not paying attention. <laughs> <laughs> Because it's so boring. Yeah. Nothing ever shows Nothing up. Nothing ever fucking Excuse shows up me, on this darling, shit. I got some work to do. Oh, he noticed it. What the heck is that? <laughs> oh. 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 Get on in here, Pete. We got us is a it going to be one in one? On three week collision course with Earth. <laughs> Holy shit. That's incredible. <laughs> That's. <laughs> <laughs> It's just definitely gonna hit Earth. The fucking this is the, dig, This is the fucking dig, bitch. The 1995 I love that. I love that just like gradient giant The asteroid has there. been named Attila, after the war Attila. leader of the Huns, who devastated Europe just before the fall of the Roman Empire. Yeah. Attila was first spotted in a tracking station in Borneo. Did he According devastate to NASA Europe? Sources, the probability of impact with Earth I think he devastated Asia. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know that Attila the Hun did a whole lot of anything Ignition. in Europe. Does Two. it just mean that like Europeans were devastated by? <laughs> they were real of sad Attila's. about what was. <laughs> it was a real bummer over there in Asia. Shuttle is up and away. <laughs> this is not a fucking space the ships. Was designed for. But as <laughs> space shuttles. Boston Lowe said in the press conference last That's us. night. Boston if left. the shuttle is the last hope of the human race, then it'll have to do the job, won't it? <laughs> Wait a minute, folks. Let me introduce you. Fucking Brink. <laughs> Fucking Luke Brink. Luke Brink is a noted geologist. He'll evaluate our data on placement of the nuclear devices. We have to be accurate. <laughs> the idea isn't to blow a tiller to bits. If we did, some of the pieces would certainly hit Earth with devastating effect. You know, talking with your hands. And now I hardly have to introduce Maggie Robbins to you. Oh, She's yeah. probably the most well-known <laughs> journalist in the She's world. She's the girl. <laughs> uh, Maggie, you're famous for having once said that you never put up with censorship in any form. That's, that's her song. Now you're under NASA command. <laughs> yeah. Miss Robbins is a reporter by vocation, but on this mission, she's... I think I can answer the question myself, Commander Lowe. She's a strong Danny, female. I trained for this mission, <laughs> and I have work to do in laying the new charges. When I come home, <laughs> so I'll be a reporter yep. and tell you all about it. But during the mission, I'm part of the team, and I will obey Commander Lowe like any good soldier. That may be the biggest news story of all. Maggie Robbins obeys orders. <laughs> In going over your bio, yeah, 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 yeah. Professor Brink is also a noted archaeologist. While it's well known that Maggie is yeah. a prodigy at learning new languages, is this just coincidence? It's getting know. pretty close. <laughs> we wanted the best and the brightest for this. Is it still moving? <laughs> Dr. Brink and Ms. Robbins are not narrow specialists. <laughs> they are resourceful, widely yeah, educated, I think it's and creative moving. Does that apply to you too, Commander Lowe? <laughs> My job is to keep everybody alive. I don't have to be brilliant. I just have to be careful. The other two crew members will remain with the show. This is such a 90s sci-fi crew. Is the most yeah. show <laughs> it's like we have. older, Miles like middle-aged military, military finger pistols guy, As you all nerd, know, a and girl, Congress, and then expendable guy. Guy. <laughs> strenuous guys who it's don't say too. anything much. Cheaper too. <laughs> Any parting message for the people of Earth? We have exactly one chance. Oh, man. We've got to do it right. Let all your prayers Michael be Land. Mm -hmm. With that fucking music. Yeah. Fucking Michael Land, am I right? Space Mysteries, dog. Yeah. Orson Scott Card wrote the dialogue. Oh, holy shit. Yeah. That's interesting. Yep. I don't think I knew that at the time or yeah. realized what that meant. <laughs> yep. It's 
256 characters. Based on a concept by Steven fucking Spielberg. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So one time, supposedly, you know how there were tip lines for video games? Yeah. One time, <laughs> Steven Spielberg and his son called the tip line for this game. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that was such a weird Low here. thing. Come on out, existed. kids. Yeah. The water's fine. Robin's here. Going independent. Welcome to the wonderful world of space. Don't bump into anything. <laughs> I'll be careful, Commander. So you have a walkthrough Frank here, going right? independent. Because <laughs> <laughs> we're going to need that. We're fired up. Getting fired up! Because this is an adventure game. Yeah, it's gonna. Howdy it's got Frank. some dumb puzzles. Welcome to the place where geology and astronomy meet. A professor once told me, astronomers are geologists with clean hands and a squint. You going to quote him on that in some magazine, Robbins? <laughs> I'm just part of the landing team right now, Commander Lowe. All right, so Looking this is how this it. game works. You can like, you can move around. So I, like I specifically games. have some really strong memories of this game. Had you played it before I introduced no. you to it? So, it, I, so I, yeah, I played it in like 2011 or something. I played this game in like 1995, <laughs> <laughs> which is when it came out. I was five years Maybe old. Maybe like it might have been earlier than that. Like I was goddamn five years old. Oh, six this, or this seven. This is like or one of like the that. formative games of my childhood. Like one of the most iconic games of my childhood. Like this and Doom. This is one of the formative games of my teenagehood. Uh, yeah, it's it's yeah, really it's, good. It's got a really 1995 solid. fucking Steven Spielberg adventure game. Yeah, about space mysteries. Yeah, it's got real good space mystery boner. It's kind of a Stargate, and like in just in terms of the vibe, and. Uh, it just it just does that sci-fi thing that Marathon does for us, basically. Um, so I guess we're playing in ScumVM so I can, like, save... There's auto-saves, apparently. That's so cool. I can, like, save... How... Can I... Can I load? F5, load. See if this works. Looks like it worked. I don't know. <laughs> it's, like, the same thing. So <laughs> we'll see if that works Let's see later. what Robbins has to say. This is low. Do you read? Robbins here. I read you. Uh, what do you think about Brink? What do you think of our archaeologist, Brink? I'm very impressed with his experience. He headed the U.S. Geological Survey team that mapped the surface of the We're just going to talk on the same we'll channel. We'll a close look at the asteroid to make certain the detonation points they've chosen are suitable. See that big tool chest? We call it the pig. I've logged a hundred hours working with every tool in the pig, Commander Lowe. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then. Everything okay with the pig? As far as I can see, Commander. They they get grayed out when you're done talking about them. Looks fine. Say something profound. Have you looked up at the Earth yet, Robbins? <laughs> oh, is that big blue thing the Earth? Some people get vertigo when they realize mm -hmm. that they're hanging upside down 200 miles over the ocean. Do some of them throw up? Is that what you want me to do? I thought it was something you might want to write about. I actually had a pretty good career as a writer before I had you to think up ideas for me, Commander. Oh my god. This I is what they're you like. Happy, <laughs> so you'll write nice things about us. I'm very, very happy, Commander Lowe. <laughs> I hope you're still happy, Robin. <laughs> I'm very, very happy, Commander Lowe. <laughs> Getting anything juicy for your first article? I'm not writing my article right now, Commander Lowe. Like, yeah. This is all pretty dull so far, Robbins. I hope you can find something interesting for your lead. Commander Lowe, am I doing something wrong? No, I'm just trying to be friendly. <laughs> it's like, why are you talking and to I'm me so to much? <laughs> this is kind of <laughs> weird. <laughs> Can't you forget for even one second that I'm a reporter? I should, uh... Hold on, guys. Turn, turn off those Steam oh, notifications. Yeah, hold on, guys. Where is that going to open up? It's I over in front of the audio. Is it? Okay. Uh, <laughs> here we go. Uh, offline. Bam. Okay. <laughs> Just want to make sure you're having a wonderful time, Robin. Watch, I'll get some very, origin notifications next. <laughs> <laughs> All right, whatever. Low She's out. real happy. Frank, this is low. Do you read? Frank, yeah. <laughs> what do you think about you. Maggie? What do you think of our story? <laughs> 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 very unorthodox. <laughs> 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 on the space mission. 
It also sounds like Brink might be, um, and she writes interesting stories. Might be Steve Bloom as well. Oh yeah. Yeah. Everything okay with the pig? Everything's fine as far as I can see, Commander. It looks the Miles same. Can tell you more Commander. Than I, can. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. Slow out. <laughs> it's still there. Slow to Brink. Come in, Brink. Brink here. I read you. Happy to set foot on a new world, Brink? Attila is a very old world, Commander. It is merely new to us. Let me know if you see anything unusual with the asteroid. No problems yet, Commander. You call it a world? Yeah. It's kind of weird. Did we have those blinds over there turned up before? Or is the sun just being an asshole right now? I think the sun's real strong right now. <laughs> I have hardly looked at anything else, Commander. Have you noticed anything unusual? No one has ever been this close to an asteroid before, Commander. I cannot possibly know what is usual or unusual. I mean, like, is there anything can, that should make like, us reconsider the placement of the charges? <laughs> make educated the guesses. original choice of quadrant seems adequate, Commander. Do you see any problems, Brink? As you yeah. Americans might say, <laughs> Commander, we will kick Attila's butt. <laughs> okay. Yeah, Steve Bloom is Brink. Yeah. Uh, Borneo Space Observer. Oh, wow. That's great. He must have been, like, in his 20s or something then. At that point? It's the pig. Something Payload like that, Specialist yeah. Miles needs to use the remote arm to release it. Okay. That was a thought. So, like, if I go to my my sick pen ultimate. Holy shit, you have, like, a PDA thing? I can talk to Miles. Load a payload over. Yeah, 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 Boston, I'm on you. You, you wish. wish. In, In your, your dreams. dreams. <laughs> 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 We're ready when you are, Cora. Just give the word, Boston, and you got yourself a pig. My name is goddamn Boston. How's the congressional <laughs> campaign going without you? Well, my opponent is demanding equal time in space. With or without a suit. Just don't screw up the mission, Boston, and I'll be in Congress next January. Right. I just want you to know you've got my vote, Cora. We have a weird Until my crew. opponent offers you more money. This is like Armageddon, where it's like yeah. oil rig workers. You you've got my vote, Cora. Only if you move to Mississippi, Boston. She's from Mississippi. I guess that's all it is in Armageddon. Well, over and out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So it's kind of like not like Armageddon. Kind of not like that at all. You ready for us to park? It's, just, the <laughs> it's the <laughs> same concept position, as Armageddon, boss. but it's like a very different execution of. Yeah. Are we in position, Ken? And. Attila's given deep us less impact. gravity than I expected, <laughs> but the attitude jets are compensating. Any problem with us taking the pig now, Ken? Just tell Miles, and you can take the little squealer to market. Go <laughs> okay. out. Cockpit out. Miles, come in, Miles. Look, look Miles at our here. sick PDA. You it's pretty cool. Were there PDAs in 1990? The <laughs> yeah, there were, but they didn't do this shit. Is the crew clear you could just, the like, area? do a calculator on them and, like, write crappy notes. Yeah. <laughs> I remember PDAs. Crew is clear. Proceed. Like, mostly in, like, 2003 <laughs> or whatever. <laughs> We got the PAG. The PAG. Let's go blow that shit up. Yeah. Everything fine with the pig, Cora? This will probably go fine. <laughs> yeah, the game ends when you, you blow up the asteroid. <laughs> <laughs> we must be good to her baby. Load a landing team. I'm taking the pig down to the surface. Follow me. You be good to my baby, Boston, you hear me? You said that. We'll be so, back soon, Cora. I'm confused to miss me too much. why we have a reporter. <laughs> what did they like, say? She's here? She's to document the mission and to... Document she, it from she Earth. She knows languages. <laughs> you know, for those aliens that we're going to meet. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely going to meet some aliens on an asteroid. <laughs> we are, in fact. They just don't... They have no idea of... 
They they don't know what kind of fucking mission they sent us on. <laughs> this is a fucking mission and a half is what this turns into. Okay, so you gotta like... I, I guess I have these now. We're just gonna t shovel? <laughs> We're just gonna dig a yeah. hole? Yeah. Asteroid. Okay, so this now... This is an American nuke. So now I gotta shovel... The asteroid. 